We had multiple cases of individuals that were apprehended at the border with uh, illegal Tatuaba bladders. We believe that there's a higher organization that is coordinating these efforts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it makes sense. These, these bladders are worth so much money that, you know, there's, there's a responsible party down in Mexico that is most likely making a large profit from this. This is a Tatuaba swim bladder. These are the appendages that are indicative only of the Tatuaba. With the great economic success in China and Southeast Asia, wildlife is being trafficked to those parts of the world where they can double and triple the money that they could make. In Hong Kong, what we started to do was to do research on swim bladders. We've actually done quite a bit of work going to different shops to see what kind of swim bladders they sell, what the prices are. These tough swim bladders are believed to be very good from a medicinal point of view to help heal the things associated with damage to the gut, but particularly associated with things like postpartum damage after birth. The prices became so high that the swim bladders, some of these large, thick swim bladders, started to be traded just as an investment commodity. And so it moved on to another use entirely, which was just for investment. Mm -hmm.